Okay. Um, this one is, um, why do I have to do all the work? I think is, is that the, mm -hmm. that sounds, well, the, the, the thing was, is not in contact and in a 3D, not talking, not seeing one another. So you actually have a twin, but you're in separation and you're not talking. Mm. Yeah. So that would be physical silence, not radio silence. Um, not in physical communication. Yeah, yeah. Very and physical. you know, when when you feel connected to someone and they just drop off and they they're gone, and um, we kind of we've been talking about this for a while because this happens a lot. Um, it's why do I have to do the work? Why do I need to be the one to to actually do all the work? And they get to go and they're moving on and they're meeting somebody and they're doing all of these things. There's a Point to this, um, not wanting to do the work yourself, um, worrying about them not doing any work is still not focusing on yourself. And when you're not fo focusing on yourself, why are you upset when they're not focusing on you? Because it's almost like you're wanting them to take place of what you should be doing. And when you hold somebody responsible for doing your work, or you're saying they need to do some work, it's all them. Um, what gets to not change here is your own eyesight, your own experience of what you're saying that they need to do. You can't see change if you don't change. That's just not possible. So wondering why they need to, you know, why, why do you have to do all the work? But that doesn't mean there's not change. That means you can't see change. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So the other person on the other side of the world, of the country, of the city, or wherever they are, that doesn't mean they're not changing or they're not going through things. Mm. That means you really, you, it's hard for you to recognize. Right. And then when they, even if they show back up, if you say, well, let me see if they've done any work, you're going to still be looking through the same lens of, of you not changing. <laughs> so... You know, it's almost like you're going you're to repeat the same behavior over and over. Um, and this is difficult to see because, you, you know, we all have that um, underneath expectation that we didn't know how to communicate. So an example would be, Sherry and I were talking about this earlier. Let's say that we came into separation when we were apart. Um, she would, well, I don't, he needs to do some work on himself. He needs to do some work on himself. That was a, we'll talk about that in a minute, right. but we kind of ran into that. But, you know, at the same time, I would say she needs to change. She needs to change. And my mind was so strong that she needs to change that I wasn't going to let her come back into my energy field because I didn't change to open up to see any kind of change. I was still believing she was going to be the same way, say the same things, treat herself the same way and end up causing me to get hurt again. See, there's part of this that you can't see a change in someone else because you didn't change your own thought pattern. Um, when, when we did finally sit down and really talk about it, we realized we weren't telling each other internal dialogues, things we were saying ourselves about the other person. And when you're not willing to change that, you're not changing anyway. Right. So, you know, you can feel this connection, and that's the part that really I think is very powerful, is it's trying to tell you, you can feel them. There's something different here, so you need to show up differently. And you're not even hearing the part that says show up differently. You're not hearing the part that says show up in the change. Not worrying about what change they're going to have, because you're not seeing the full spectrum of change. You think you need to see this in them, but shouldn't you be seeing this in you? Mm. And, you know, well, I don't understand, Lee. How am I going to deal with them not changing? Well, see, you get to say that every day. I get to deal with them not changing. I get to deal with them not changing. What you're really saying is I get to deal with never changing. I get to deal with never changing. I mean, that's what connection is going to keep showing you over and over again. You're going to be right. And when you're going to be right and they keep showing up the same way, well... The part of this connection is that you believe that no one's allowed to change. We we inherit this though, right? Yeah, but you know what? 
I don't need to change. I have healed everything that's going on in that's going on in me. I don't have mommy issues. I don't have daddy issues. I don't have family issues. I've healed all my trust issues. I'm 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 healed. I'm free. All my chakras are clear. I am great. You meditate? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's because meditation fixes all disconnections. Um, <laughs> I meditate, I pray, I clear, I've done all my inner child yes. work, I've done all my work, so why aren't we together? Right, because what you're wanting yourself to see is that you went through this wound, you understand the wound, you understand what you say inside the wound, but you never grew from that wound. You've healed it, you've sealed it, closed, it never needs to be brought up again. You're right, that's a way to be disconnected, and we're not going to stop you. This is, you're allowed to do that. And we will applaud you the entire way until you realize that I wonder if this is making me disconnected as much as it's making me connected. We can't tell you that. Only you can. And this is a part where, oh, I'm standing in my truth. Okay, if you're standing in the truth, realize that what you need to say is, I'm standing in my disconnection. And admit that to everyone. I mean, really, that's kind of what you're doing. Well, it's hard. I get it. I get it, but there's a part of your 3D self that's standing firm with your belief system that they need to change. They're never going to change. This is something you learned growing up. This isn't something they just now are showing you. You've always been this way. And as you're looking at how this makes you feel connected to yourself, say they need to do the work, good luck with that. All that is is disconnection. And since it is a part of the connection family to be disconnected, you're just doing exactly what your family has taught you in connection. I mean, how can you really be connected if you've learned how to be disconnected? We talked about this when it came to the belief system of false twin flames. Mm -hmm. Just because somebody you were connected to found somebody else to replace a person you're connected to, now you believe in something is false because that person grows up and you call this person daddy, you call this person mommy, and they were a step something. You have a step twin flame. Good luck with that. Your oh, belief system can be corrected. twin flame is a whole well, other thing. That's a false thing. Well, but we can't really give that out there because there's some work that needs flame. to be done. There's some work that you need to do. Worrying about what they need to do is not going to resolve anything. I wish I could make this about... And it turns into possession. It does. Because the person I'm connected to is going to choose somebody else. This is something that you need to see. This doesn't change the connection. Somebody, or is choosing somebody else. Getting married to someone else. It didn't change my connection child to you. This with someone else. Oh, that's right. We did that. You know what's interesting? Oh, that's right. It didn't change my connection to you. Right. It changed my connection to you. Right. I understand that. Do you understand that? I, it, we, but hold on. Lee and I were connected. Mm -hmm. Let's let's lay this out real 3D. We were connected. We had already met and connected mm. um, and separated for two years because Lee ran. Okay, we'll get to that later. Um, two years goes by. This girl wasn't waiting. Although I felt this connection, I didn't obsess over it. Um, I knew something was different with him. If you've seen our journey, you get it. You understand where I'm going with this. Um, well, guess who comes back? I'm dating someone else. Engaged, actually. Um, but you know what? I was doing me. And uh, I may not have been doing the right things or the right reason, doing things for the right reasons for me um, or for the person that I was with that being wrong um i wasn't making great decisions but nevertheless i uh i was connected to lee i knew i was connected to lee we had reconnected um and i still married someone else and had a child with them did we lose connection it strengthened the connection it strengthened and i believe that's where people get that they don't want to surrender to that. I cannot surrender to them being with somebody else. I cannot surrender to them having a child with someone else. I cannot surrender to them. You cannot surrender into connection 
because the connection is also showing you what you never learned to surrender in connection in the first place. Was it hard? It was hard. Was it hurt? Did it hurt? It hurt. Was it a struggle? It was a struggle. But um, it was part of the journey. Sometimes you have to see something inside yourself that's saying because they're not is because you aren't. Right. There, there's, there's a part, I mean, as much as I think about what I felt on the inside when she married Ron, they're having a baby, you pretty much need to find somebody that you can do some, or you can, and it was like I was looking for everything that, okay, she needs to go off and do this. She'll find out the hard way. We're connected. She can go with this. I mean, I could hear my internal thought processes. I can still hear them now. But there was something about those thought processes I didn't want to accept. I didn't want to feel connected to. Right. We're never going to work 14 days straight again. You can't be yawning. We've worked in the 14 days straight. <laughs> I love you. I am yawning. I love you, but our mission, sometimes we need to recharge. We but will. But here's, here's the thing. What we're saying is... is 14 days. Over. If you are thinking you need to wait for them to do some work, the waiting part is a learned behavior you got, not what they got. There's a waiting that you think needs to change within them. You, the more you come into acceptance of what is, the more you're going to find that connection does what it's supposed to on its own. Yes. And the other person, it's not about doing the work. You're doing too much work. I'm doing too much work. I'm doing too much work. What about them? How come they get to just... How come they is what got you disconnected in the first place. I don't know how many times we separated. I don't want to count. It was a lot. If you've seen our if you've seen our journey, you'll know you know it's a lot. And here's the thing, I did the same thing. Why do I have to do all the work? This is a hot mess. I'm just doing me. Mm. And guess who did work? This guy. And even though I did the work, that didn't and when I started seeing things differently it actually started to show me what differently looked like. Um, you, you come into this acceptance. I'm connected to her. And then I was coming up with all of the rules that needed to be there because I was connected to her. In this connection, especially as deep as a twin flame connection can possibly be, it's going to challenge your whole belief system. And in that whole belief system, you're, you're going to believe that they're supposed to be part of your life because once they're there, you're going to live. You're going to have all of these permission. You're going to be free of all of everything. Happily we're here. ever after. Keep, we're going to keep the journey going. Don't worry. There'll be more videos to come in our journey to kind of help you really see something more special and more significant about this connection. Can you accept them for who they are and where they're at? Wait a minute, maybe I should say that right. Can you accept yourself for where you are without them? Somebody, if you've got a, a whisper in the back of your head saying, well, I'm not going to be whole until they're with me. That's called lying. <laughs> and the connection doesn't give a shit about that. It wants you to feel completely whole before you'll know and understand what this connection is trying to give you in the first place. With or without their 3D physical appearance, you think they're going to come along and all of that gets fixed. That's actually what's broken. Mm. So asking them to change something is not going to do that. You have to realize your own wholeness in your own space, in your own time, because your yin and yang is way out of yang. So, acceptance. It, you're, you're connected. Trying to pull cords, beliefs, whatever. You know, we can sit and talk about all of this. Like we said, there is a reason you believe in false anything. Because there's been something false about your own connection to yourself. And you can take that to the bank. What are they going to do with it at the bank? I don't know. Cash it in for ego chips. They have ego chips? You should have a whole drawer full of them. It's a bag. 
Because they're all that in a bag oh, of chips. A whole Get bag it. of ego chips. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you for taking <laughs> we, time. But we, we, we we're do. going to be doing... You guys are awesome. We're doing more classes. Um, we are going to... We, we're going to go into the third series of the Connection Reflection class, but we're also going to be doing some really cool stuff on Crowdcast coming soon, um, where you can actually come and really learn more about your own connection to yourself um, when Relationship Reinvented presents Connection to Yourself classes, which will show you how you abandon yourself, reject yourself, treat yourself. There's all kinds of different ways. You know, it really is about... This whole journey is about the connection to yourself. And don't think for one minute that Lee and Sherry are in harmonious union and everything is wonderful. Oh, it's harmonious. <clears throat> yeah, it is harmonious. We still get... Sherry's off key all the time. <coughs> really? We I still get... Hmm? Nothing. <clears throat> we still get... Um, we still get self... Conscious, we still get um, times in our lives where we, you know, aren't. Where, where, where am I going with this? Where we aren't. Um, when, in, when, okay, we can't mind read each other. There it is. There's never been, the, and <laughs> there's probably some point where we got to really talk in depth about what we mean by that. You can't read the other person's mind. You right. can read their behavior, and it will make sense with what you come up with in your mind. And this is what you'll hold them responsible for. It kind of sounds like this. They don't want me. They don't want to be near me. There they're is. not talking to me. And on the inside of them, they're going, it seems like I can never do anything right. Right. I'm just not good enough for this person. And there's no mind reading happening between you whatsoever. Right. It's called behavioral uh, modification, acceptance of the other person. So you're reading their behavior and you're making this is what they said to you. And that's bullshit. Okay, good luck with say, thinking you can mind read. And once you've perfected this, teach the entire world how to mind read based on behavior. Behavior is an issue. We get it. But you're connected to their behavior because their behavior is your belief system. Mm -hmm. We're going to close on that. Mm -hmm. That was powerful. Who are you yelling? At? I'm not yelling. I'm just saying sometimes change happens when change happens. And you're expecting change to happen. Well, then maybe <coughs> you should change how you're seeing things. I have a throat lozenge. Oh, ooh, I want one of those. My throat, <laughs> I can tell my throat because of talking. <laughs> years we talking. We talk too much. We should probably let you guys go. We love you guys. And if we don't get to, well, I'm sure there'll be a video out before Christmas. And, and, Merry Christmas, because be. nobody says it anymore. They all go happy holidays. And same thing. Merry Christmas. Change that.